Imagine, for a moment, living in a world where our bones are not made of calcium and collagen, but of metal. Sounds like something straight out of a science fiction novel, doesn't it? But let's indulge in this intriguing hypothesis for a bit. What if, instead of the organic material we call bone, we had structures of metal supporting our bodies, enabling our movement? This idea might seem far-fetched, almost absurd, but it's not entirely beyond the realm of possibility. With the pace at which medical science and bioengineering are advancing, it's not entirely inconceivable that we could, in the future, replace damaged or diseased bones with metallic substitutes. Researchers are already working on developing artificial bones that could potentially take the place of our natural ones under certain circumstances. But why metal, you ask? Well, metals have certain properties that could be advantageous in this context. They are strong, durable, and some are even lighter than bone. They could potentially withstand the stresses and strains of daily life better than our natural bones, reducing the risk of fractures and wear and tear related issues. Of course, this is all purely conjectural at this point. We're a long way off from having the technology to replace our bones with metal. But it's an interesting idea to explore, don't you think? So, let's delve a little deeper into this thought experiment. Let's consider the potential implications of such a drastic change to our physical makeup. What would life be like with metal bones? How would our bodies function differently? And perhaps most importantly, would the benefits outweigh the potential drawbacks? Now that you've got an idea of this fascinating concept, let's dive into the potential benefits of having metal bones. As we move forward, remember, this is all hypothetical. But who knows, maybe one day this science fiction fantasy could become a scientific reality. First, let's explore the potential advantages of replacing our bones with metal. Imagine a world where our skeletal system is comprised of metal. It may sound like something straight out of a science fiction novel, but the advantages of this hypothetical scenario are quite fascinating. To start with, metal is significantly stronger than bone. This superior strength could dramatically reduce the risk of fractures or cracks, a common issue with our current calcium-based bones. Just picture it. A world where broken bones are a thing of the past. Where extreme sports enthusiasts and the elderly alike can live without fear of a simple trip causing serious injury. Next, let's consider durability. Metal bones could be highly resistant to fatigue and wear, potentially reducing pain and mobility issues caused by worn joints or degenerative bone diseases. Imagine the freedom of movement, the reduction in chronic pain, and the improved quality of life this could offer to millions of people worldwide. Furthermore, certain types of metal are lighter than bone. This implies that individuals with metal skeletons could be more agile and mobile. The potential for increased physical performance is extraordinary, from faster running speeds to higher jumps. Finally, consider healing times. Metal bones could potentially heal faster in the event of damage or fractures. Currently, a broken bone can take several weeks to months to heal. But with metal bones, the healing process could be significantly faster, enabling people to get back on their feet in no time. As you can see, metal bones could offer numerous benefits, but as with any major change, there are also potential drawbacks. While the advantages of metal bones sound promising, it's important to also consider the potential disadvantages. Let's dive into some of the possible drawbacks. Firstly, there's the increased risk of infection. Metal implants are generally more susceptible to infections than natural bones. This means that individuals with metal bones could potentially face a higher risk of developing infections, which could pose serious health concerns. Next, we have the potential for allergic reactions. Some people may exhibit allergic responses to certain metals. This could lead to the body rejecting the metal bone implants, causing a range of problems from discomfort to severe health issues. Another concern is the sensitivity to temperature changes. Metal is a better conductor of heat than bone. This means that individuals with metal bones might feel colder in cool climates and overheat more easily in warm weather. Imagine feeling like a walking radiator or refrigerator, depending on the weather. Then there's the susceptibility to electromagnetic fields. Metals are sensitive to electromagnetic fields, which can lead to complications. For example, 
certain medical or electronic devices could potentially interfere with the functioning of metal bones. This could limit the use of such devices for individuals with metal bones. Lastly, we must consider aesthetic concerns. Metal bones would likely look different from natural bones. This could lead to individuals with metal bones feeling self-conscious or uncomfortable with their appearance. These potential disadvantages remind us that while the concept of metal bones sounds exciting, it also presents significant challenges. As with any scientific advancement, it's essential to weigh the pros and cons carefully, considering not only the potential benefits, but also the possible drawbacks. So while the idea of swapping our bones for metal ones might seem like a cool science fiction concept in reality, it's far more complex and comes with its own set of challenges. Like any scientific advancement, the idea of metal bones brings with it both exciting possibilities and serious concerns. In the grand scale of things, the balance between the advantages and disadvantages of metal bones is a fine line, a delicate seesaw that could tip in either direction. On one hand, the prospect of having a more robust, durable, lightweight, and quick healing skeletal system is undeniably appealing. Imagine a world where fractures are a thing of the past, where our bodies are more resilient and agile, and where recovery from skeletal injuries is swift and seamless. On the other hand, the potential pitfalls cannot be ignored. The increased risk of infections, possible allergic reactions, sensitivity to temperature changes and electromagnetic fields, and the aesthetic considerations are all significant and legitimate concerns. This is where the importance of further research and development comes into play. The key to tipping the balance in favor of the advantages lies in the realm of scientific innovation. Can we find a way to make metal bones resistant to infections? Can we develop metals that are hypoallergenic or at least reduce the risk of allergic reactions? Can we find a balance between durability and aesthetics creating metal bones that look and feel natural? While the potential for metal bones to revolutionize medicine is there, it's crucial to remember that it's not about replacing our bones with metal for the sake of it. It's about enhancing our quality of life. It's about giving people who suffer from debilitating bone conditions a chance at a better life. As we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible, we must also remember to tread carefully. The ethical, medical and social implications of such a significant shift in the way we treat bone conditions must be thoroughly considered. While the idea of metal bones remains speculative, it's an intriguing concept that could have far-reaching implications for the future of medicine. After all, every giant leap forward begins with a single speculative step. So what would life be like if we replaced our bones with metal? This intriguing question has been the basis of our discussion today, leading us through a fascinating journey of hypothetical scenarios and scientific possibilities. On one hand, we've seen the potential advantages that metallic bones could offer. They could be stronger and more durable than our natural bones, reducing the risk of fractures and wear and tear conditions. Some metals are lighter than bone, which might lead to increased agility and mobility. And let's not forget the potential for faster healing times in the event of damage or injury. On the flip side, we've also explored the potential downsides of having metal bones. There's the increased risk of infection, the possibility of allergic reactions leading to rejection of the metal implants, and the sensitivity to temperature changes and electromagnetic fields. Not to mention the aesthetic considerations as metal bones would undoubtedly look different from our natural ones. But it's not just about weighing the pros and cons. It's about appreciating the incredible progress we're making in the fields of medicine and bioengineering. It's about recognizing the potential of these advancements to improve the quality of life for people with bone diseases and injuries. And it's about acknowledging the challenges that we need to overcome to make these innovative ideas a reality. Indeed, the concept of replacing our bones with metal may seem far-fetched to some. But isn't it often the most outlandish ideas that drive scientific and technological progress? After all, it was once considered impossible to fly, to transplant organs, or to walk on the moon. Yet, here we are. Whether or not we'll ever replace our bones with metal remains to be seen. But one thing is certain. The exploration of such innovative ideas continues to push the boundaries of science and medicine.